Hello YouTube, this is Arpit and you are watching Simpler Way Hacker and in this tutorial I am gonna tell you how to use Emmet in a more advanced way and I am gonna show you some tricks by which you can type HTML more faster. So let's get started, I have installed, I am using Sublime Text and installed Emmet in this already so go ahead if you don't have Emmet installed in your editor go ahead and install it and come here and now let's get started using Emmet. let me first set the syntax of html and then show you some things ok first we learn we skip the tab in this te technique what we do is we will not type div and then again class we will only type the class name and press tab it will automatically fill the div for you you don't need to type div and that and then class name you just you can only just do like this that class name and press tab it will fill automatically everything for you the next technique is let me number this this is one and the next technique is uh, implicit text tax names so in this technique what we do is we don't tell that what an ul unorder list will contain inside it it is already defined that unorder list or order list will always contain an list a list item inside it so we will just type like this let me first show you what we type by default uh, we type like this ul and then use this angle bracket to define the child and then li and then press tab so this makes this but we don't have to type the li only type ul if you want to give a, name, a class name then give list and then use the angle bracket to define child and then not ally J don't type ally just skip the class name list item and press tab it will automatically fill everything for you now the third thing is uh, chain abbreviation with DOM navigation in this technique what we do is first let me tell you some things this this is called used to define child this is used to define sibling and this is used to define climb up so how we use these things first we will use child as by the way I have already shown you, you how you how to use child so now I'll be, I will show you how to use sibling to use sibling we just simply uh, put a plus sign between two tags let's see how it works let's see if you want a header and after that header we immediately want a footer then we will type like this I am using this is it to define the sibling and press tab it will automatically fill everything for you and now to use climb up ok by the way we don't have to only uh, use two things we can use many more things like if you want like div again div again div and press tab to define three divs for us so you can use any number of time so, and now climb up how to use climb up function uh, by the way a climb up let me show you what does climb do so let's see if you have a div and inside this div you have a par p paragraph inside paragraph you have a anger tag so what if you want uh, uh, another p, ta p tag after this p1 p paragraph so for this you will try to do like this div then p then again a and then you will think okay what if i do like this p so as you can see here that this p also came inside the uh, this uh, parent 
tag p it didn't uh, come like this what we wanted so to achieve that thing we use climb up function we use this sign and type p so what this does is it says that this p tags t tag have to be uh, uh, come after this p tag so if you press tab you can see that we get the same result as here it is so what if you want about two parent and parent classes so let me let me make one parent one again inside that parent two and again inside that a and we want the p above both parents so one climb up two climb up and p and press tab as you can see here parent one parent two but the p is outside the parent one tags now after the climb up function we i will show you how to simplify the structure sometimes it gets very confusing when we type like this dev and this dev and gain anchor tag and climb up function so to simplify this we can use brackets so how to do it let me first time simply find structure so how to simplify the structure just use brackets dot dot outer and we will use an h1 tag inside this and we can also use a uh, sibling dot two inside it as two tag and press tab it defined two different classes sorry tags one with outer class and one with two class but both are sibling to each other now the next thing is hmm, insert text and attributes so you may think that you cannot insert text or attributes while using emmet but you can so how to do it i will show you first let me show you how to insert text text to insert text you will use this curly what happen this curly braces and for attributes we use this square braces so let's see if we want one h1 tag inside that h1 tag we want some text so we will do like this curly braces text for h1 and press tab as you can see here it gave us the text for h1 tag and for attributes let's say if you want if we want href attributes in an anchor tag so we will do like this an anchor tag href and a hash and we can also use curly braces for text anchor text then press tab and as you can see here it filled the attributes and the anchor text text for us let me show you what i did here as you can see here this is for attributes and this is for text so after this we will learn about multiple class names so for multiple class name how to use multiple class name let me show you example first like this and we want class name like 1 2 3 so to show, show to achieve this we will do this 1 again a dot 2 again a dot 3 in this tab now the next is multiplication uh, multi we normally use multiplication for lists lists items so to use this we can use google like this ul and li and multiply it by number of time we want the list item like 3 then it will give us three list item it will four then four list item five then five list item and so on we can do this any number of time Just type this so you can see. And the next is okay. You can do even by simplifying it, like using the packets, like 
class and we can just do layer 3 as you can see here class 3 and then next is uh, and then next next thing is automatic numbering automatic num numbering what is automatic numbering let's see u1 and ul and inside that ul you want some list text and inside this list list tag you want here some text text one not text one let's say list one list two and list three and here also uh, le let me show you first this how to achieve this achieve this they will do like something like this ul child li and then we will use curly braces to provide text remember from here how we provide the text and now inside this we will type this list and dollar sign and use the number of time 3 as you can see list 1 list 2 list 3 and now for class attributes also we can use this for like class ul child list and dot defines class then dot and item and dollar sign without any space because class should not have any space and then curly braces for the text list space dollar here you can use dollar uh, sorry space and then times press tab and item one item two and what if there are more than 10 item let's see what happens yes 11 and you you will see here this is uneven as you can see after 9 this becomes uneven to simplify this and make it look pretty we will just increase the number of dollar sign so it becomes placeholder so when you do after press tab after this you can see that it added 0 in front of the single digits and we can use dollar any number of time even 4 5 10 and as you can see here uh, this increase the number of 0 behind uh, before the digits so for this tutorial that's it and if you like the tutorial please press thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel thank you guys thank you for watching